What's going on? Welcome to everything I eat in a day with Harper's Bazaar. Let's get bizarre. So first thing I do when I wake up is uh, put my trousers on. I have a cup of tea and I think about leaving the house. Outside my house I've got like pigeons so sometimes I'll feed the pigeons or the sparrows. You know what I mean? And that, that makes me happy for the rest of the day. Do I eat first thing in the morning? It depends, man. It depends if I've had anything to drink the night before. Occasionally, like, I love a bacon sandwich. English style, like, two bits of white bread, bit of butter, bit of ketchup, loaded with bacon, sliced into triangles, that and a cup of tea, feeding me pigeons, I'm down. There's, like, a little bit of a pride in making a bacon sandwich yourself. You know what I mean? Because, like, if you order it from a deli, it's either going to be too burnt and, like, really chewy, and nobody likes that. I want loads of kids. I think when I get round to it. And I have this mad dream, like on a Sunday morning, I wanna be in London and it's like sunny but cold. And like I can see me breath and that and I walk out of the house and I pick up some ketchup bacon and then I go and like make me kids bacon sandwiches in the morning. Do you know what I mean? I want like I want like six kids just like climbing on me, just like everywhere. And I'm just like cooking bacon sandwiches and be like, eat up. That's a peculiar question. Am I a coffee or tea drinker? Depends what side of the world I'm on. You know what I mean? If I'm in the UK, it's very much a cup of tea. When I grew up in the north of England, you're like, you have a cup of tea for any occasion. You get into college, let's have a cup of tea. Your cat dies, oh, let's have a cup of tea. But when I'm on this side of the world, I, I think I drink a lot more coffee. I think it's a, a, lot, a very American thing, isn't it? To like get cracked out on coffee all day. It's good, you know what I mean? I, I've had a lot of coffee now. What's a typical breakfast with full English, man? Bacon, eggs, sausage, tomatoes, beans, black pudding, toast. But I can't eat that every day. You know what I mean? I've, been, I've actually started to be healthy on this tour because I can't really eat a lot. So on this tour, I have like a rice cake and avocado. How very Los Angeles of me. If I'm in London chilling out, I'll walk outside the house and I'll get a cup of coffee and then I'll probably walk down a street in Shoreditch, London um, called Broadway Market on a Friday and a Saturday. It's, it's like a big flower market so you can get loads of flowers and I'll walk down there. I think I, I do that almost every day but then if I'm on tour, it depends what city I'm in. You get to experience a million different cultures in a year. LA, New York, Kansas City. There's an incredible barbecue spot called Joe's in Kansas City which is like a a, a, a petrol station, you know what I mean? And they always sort us out. To be honest, I, lunch is a weird one. If I eat breakfast, I don't eat lunch. If I eat, don't eat breakfast, I eat lunch like three o'clock. Like, it depends on the day as well. I think it's so English of me, isn't it? To be like, on Mondays, I eat this. On Tuesdays, I eat this. On Sundays, I eat this. On a Sunday, you have a Sunday dinner, a Sunday lunch. In my house, if I go home to see my mum, it's normally pretty manic. We don't end up, we end up eating lunch like 5, 6 p.m. And that usually consists of like some meat, beef, lamb, chicken, and then like mashed potatoes, carrots, broccoli, and then like you drown it in gravy. Like so much gravy, but it's not like American gravy. When I first came out to America, I had this gravy and it was so thick. And I was like, what is this, man? It's like, you should put cornstarch in it. But where we're from, it's more like a, a jus, you know what I mean? Because you cook so much on a Sunday, you don't eat it all. So you, like, save it all week and you make a thing called bubble and squeak. Like, I, I must sound like a fucking wizard here or something, you know what I mean? Bubble and squeak, like, you cut it up and you just fry it in a pan and you can eat that all week. Am I a snacker? I love popcorn. Fucking love popcorn. Like, love popcorn. At home, I make popcorn every night. I've got, like, a little whirly pop. Put your corn in bit of olive oil, occasionally a Mars bar or some M&Ms because you can make chocolate popcorn, but then like popcorn all day. But it's so funny, everyone can, everyone knows if I've been eating popcorn because it's everywhere, in the dressing room or on the bus. But my favorite thing to spend my money on is dinners for me mates. You know what I mean? I love that. Like I love getting a load of people together round a table and getting a load of food and like a load of drinks and just like, having a dinner. I don't think I like being lonely. You know what I mean? I love being around people. What's my favorite cocktail of choice? Like I'm such a lager man, but like I can't drink a lot of beer. I get really bloated. <laughs> but if I was to go for a cocktail, it's like a Moscow mule, I think. 
My favourite meal to cook, I'm really good at making steak. Lads, like, what do you think? Like, come on, just come and say hello. Just like, come in, back me up. Come on. Do you know what I mean? Ed, come on. Hello. This is Adam, hello. Tom, Ed. Are you on the camera? <laughs> Why don't you tell them about like, how my meals are? I do cook though, people think I don't. He is actually He very, does very steak good. really, really, really <laughs> well actually. I just love it. Rubbing it, letting it come to room temperature, flipping it, bit of olive oil, searing hot pan, three, four minutes either side till it's medium rare. Let it rest, a little bit undercooked, so you let it rest, it keeps cooking, and then, and then there we are. Right, you can f*** off for that as well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredient or food, fish, man, tuna fish. Can't handle it, man, it smells, you know what I mean? It proper stinks out of the house. Like, I've actively been on a date and been turned off by someone eating, like, tin tuna. I've been a bit like, oh God. Oh wow, what is my favourite food city? Chicago's amazing. So is New York, because of the, the amount of culture. I adore Milan. You know, I went to a pasta spot in London. All my mates like, that's the best pasta space in London. Went there on the Friday, flew out to Italy, played a gig on the Sunday, went for food in, in, in Milan on a Monday, and then came back to London and was like, oh my God, this is shit. Compared to Italy, you know what I mean? What's me go-to dessert? Banoffee pie. Like, it's like such a grandma thing. My nan makes like a proper banoffee pie. But then also chocolate eclairs. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's so funny. It's like literally like sword swallower. You know what I mean? Like all the way in. Any late night snacking? It depends if I um, have partaked in the use of marijuana, to be honest. If that happens, it's always like hot Cheetos, dairy milk, Cadbury's chocolate, or a Kinder Bueno. There's nothing better when you're high than a Kinder Bueno. Thank you so much for watching. That is what I eat in a day. Um, I've been young blood. My new song, Funeral's out right now. Go check it out. I adore you. Thanks so much, Harper's Bazaar.